to Good Friday. It's Good Friday today, right? And on Good Friday, I think everybody knows what happened. Um, Jesus died on the cross. And it was a very, very sad day for everyone. What we're going to do today, I'm not going to do a reading from the Bible. We're going to do Stations of the Cross. And so we're going to do virtual Stations of the Cross. We'll see how that works. Okay, so. Okay. So here we have Jesus is condemned to death. Okay, I'm going to hold this up as close as I can. Jesus is condemned to death. Jesus was accused of many crimes he didn't commit. He didn't defend himself. He knew he needed to die for our sins. Jesus carries his cross. The cross was big and heavy. It was hard for Jesus to carry it. Jesus carried the heavy cross without complaining once. Station three, Jesus falls the first time. Okay. Jesus was already badly hurt when he fell the first time. It must have hurt very, very much when he fell. Jesus got up and kept going. All right. Station four, Jesus meets his mother. Can we all see that? see. Jesus knew that his mother was sad to see him suffering so much, but he was so happy she came to him. Mary loved Jesus very, very much. Station five. Simon of Cyrene didn't come to help Jesus. He only came to see what was going on. Then he was ordered by the soldiers to carry the cross because Jesus was having such a hard time. Station six, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. Veronica loved Jesus very much. When she stepped out to wipe his face, she risked getting in big trouble from the soldiers. Her love and kindness overcame her fears. Station seven, Jesus falls a second time. Jesus fell again because he was so weak and tired from all his wounds. He still didn't give up. He got back up and continued on. Station eight, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. A lot of people were against Jesus, but a lot of people followed him. They were faithful friends. Station nine, Jesus falls a third time. It's unbelievable that Jesus fell again and the soldiers didn't help him. They only yelled louder for him to get up and continue on. Jesus didn't get mad at them. He forgave them. Station 10. Jesus is stripped of his clothes. To be without clothes in front of everyone is a humiliating thing. Jesus wasn't ashamed because he knew his Father in heaven loved him and everyone who was there loved him too. Station 11, Jesus is crucified. The soldiers drove nails through Jesus' hands and feet. They lifted up the cross and put it in place. Jesus was in a lot of pain. Station 12, Jesus dies on the cross. 
When Jesus died, the sky got dark and the ground started to shake. This made some people very scared. They saw that Jesus was innocent and that they had made a big mistake. Station 13, Jesus' his body is taken down from the cross. Joseph of Arimathea gave Jesus his own burial cave because Jesus didn't have a place to be buried. Joseph was another one of Jesus' friends who took a risk to help him. Jesus is laid in the tomb. Even when things look very difficult and sad, there is always hope that God can bring new life. Now, I don't know if any of you have done Stations of the Cross before, We mostly do those in church, and of course we can't be there today. I hope that you look at this video again and listen to the stations. I may have taken you by surprise by doing them, and maybe you weren't focused. Maybe you can come back later and look at it again and really think about what Jesus was doing. I mean, did Jesus do things that we would be willing to do? I mean, he didn't complain. I know right now everybody's home, they're stuck home. They wanna go outside and play with their friends. They wanna go visit their family for Easter and we can't. And it's, it makes us so sad. Jesus was very sad too, but he never complained. Not once did he complain. And people were bullying him and making fun of him. And he never yelled back at them. But Jesus was kind to the people who came up to him. Veronica, Joseph of Arimathea, of course, he came to see Jesus after he had died. But God knew what Joseph was doing. He got to see his mom. These were all so important to Jesus and made him feel better but he still hurt a lot. You know, Simon helped him carry the cross. Simon went to watch. He did not go to help. So think about the time when you maybe see somebody who can use some help. You didn't go to help them. Maybe somebody's being bullied at school or somebody can use some help carrying some packages at the grocery store. You didn't go there to help. You didn't mean to do that, but it's the right thing to do to stand up for someone and help them and show your kindness that way. So I think, well, let me go back a little bit. You know, Jesus died. What happened when Jesus died? This is what I think. So when Jesus died, he took all of our sins into his heart. Okay, he brought everything into his heart. So when he died, our sins died with him. And then they were buried with him. And that gave us the ability to have, to be sinless. Okay, he forgave everything that we had done wrong. Now that was a long time ago, but he still does that to us now, or does that for us now, right? He forgives, of our, give, forgives us of our sins, and he takes them in and accepts them as his own. And that's what he did when he died. He died for us so that we could give up our sin. So I think maybe we could thank Jesus for doing that for us, right? This is a thank, this is gonna be a thankful day too. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for us. That meant so much to us in our hearts.
right? It's a very sad day, but what happens in two days? Two more days, he rises up. It's an amazing day, Easter, right? So we are here to do our, finish up our box, our Holy Week in a box, right? So here's our box. Now what we're going to do with the box is we're going to use that as the tomb. So we're going to wrap Jesus. We have the cross. I'm going to put the cross in there as well because it means something. This is my cross I've shown you all week. My cross made from twigs. Okay. I'm going to put that in with Jesus. And then remember we have a cloth or a tissue. Here's my Jesus. We're going to wrap him in a cloth just like they did when they took him down from the cross like this and put him in the tomb. And we're going to close it. And maybe tonight or today you can put it in a special place, some place that um, you'll be able to see it and it will remind you until Easter morning what Jesus did for us. Boy, it was so hard. I can't even, not even doing a little thing that we can do, like helping a friend who's being bullied or um, going over to somebody we don't know to help them carry their groceries um, or, you know, just being good at home. Yeah, it's really hard sometimes, right? But it's something that we can do that's a sacrifice, right? It's a sacrifice. And that's what Jesus did for us. So, I think I want to say a little prayer. I have a couple of them here. Dear, dear God, sometimes it's risky to step, step out and help people who are in need. Jesus, I want to be a risk taker and help others. Give me love and courage. So I will be back with you at, well, two times. We're going to do a book reading tomorrow night, a fun book reading tomorrow night at five, like we've been doing, an Easter story. And on Sunday, we'll come back at 12 o'clock on Easter to talk a little bit about Easter. Hopefully you've already gone to virtual mass with Father Joe at 920. So let me fill you in on some other times. So tonight we have services at seven o'clock with Father Ty at Most Precious Blood. And tomorrow night, the Easter vigil at seven o'clock with Monsignor Burke at St. Francis of Assisi. I'll be on at five o'clock for a story. And then 9.20 on Easter Sunday with Father Joe at St. Matthew. And then I'll come back at 12 o'clock and we'll finish up Holy Week in a Box. So I want to put some thank yous out there for this week and getting us all of our video and, and our churches, our different churches together. And that's Mr. Rudy. I know a lot of you know Mr. Rudy. He's worked really, really hard to get all of our technology up and being at all the churches and videotaping everything and making sure everybody's got their microphones. And we want to thank him for doing that. It's been a, um, it's been a, a challenging week for everyone, but it's been a beautiful week for everyone. And it's going to get even better on Sunday. So be blessed. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow.